welcome back. Uh, see, they keep releasing new things on the site. Um, a new feature on the site is that you you now see a promotion pop up when capturing a piece, not just when promoting, but also for captures that result in a promotion. Um, so that's a good quality of life feature. Yeah, let's play some Bioyomi Survival, shooting for a high score here. Why not? We got five minutes. Let's practice a bit. So we start with the mate in three, if I remember right. Um, I can't fail the first problem. That would be dishonorable. I'm failing the first problem. <laughs> oh no. Like, this is the critical square. This is the square where everything excites. I've seen this problem before. This is the solution. Um, and this is the reason that's the solution. Okay. Let's try this again. Um. Yeah, we're practicing for no particular reason at all. This sort of skill seems useful in general, <laughs> not just for any particular opponent that we might be facing soon. Okay, well... So this pawn cuts off an escape square, so we want to draw the king out here for a mate to happen. Um, but also this dragon's kind of cool. How do we trick this dragon into helping us? Also, is the point that if gold drop here, if the king runs, that we have a mate? Yeah, that's the reason the pawns... well... Yeah, that's the reason the pawn's on the board. Wait, I'm confused. So I was going to say gold 3-3, three, three, dragon takes, and then bishop 1-2, but then king 3-2. Okay, let's try that again. How about gold 3-2, dragon takes, and then bishop 1-2. It's the same thing as this... Okay, well, we're going to have to look at that later. Uh, Shogi's hard. And I'm making it more difficult. So I'm almost certain it's knight 3-3. Yeah, this was shown, well, okay, I'm being stupid. The last part of that was shown in one of the tactics that Chogi Harbor <laughs> showed on her stream. So, yeah, um, is this not just knight here? Like, this is the one and only Mino castle mate where they forget to push the edge pawn. All right, uh, how about this? I feel like we want to draw the token over so that this gold can move somewhere and a magic mate will appear. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't get it. Usually checkmates, at least these mate and three, involve some sort of sacrifice. Um, I'm not seeing how to sacrifice a piece here. Well, 
we're gonna make a random move. All right, we're gonna try this. 19 seconds remain. I have no idea. All right, we failed. Now we can look at the problems we failed. Delightful. All right, so this one. Um, yeah, I was getting all excited because gold drop dragon takes bishop promotes on one two. It's the same shape as the silver mate, but turned ninety degrees. But no, uh, something is wrong with gold three two. I guess king just runs to two three. Uh, yeah. That's why I was initially thinking gold 3-3, three, three, but then I didn't see a follow-up. So what else can we try? Is it really gold 2-3? I looked at that, I read it out, and okay, now what's wrong with gold 2-3? I'm being terrifically stupid, and honestly, I should probably wrap things up here shortly, because I'm just not thinking at all. That's not a good sign. I'm trying to think, but I've watched so much today, and have so many emotions about it, that thinking is kind of an afterthought at this point. I should work on that. Wait, is it really just token 1, 2? The variations being you take... Well, you can't take the bishop. Like, these two bishops cover almost everything. So token 1, 2, king here. And then gold drop is mate. No. Okay, what's wrong with this move? How come I get everything wrong? Like, I'm confused. Oh, the king has this escape route. Okay. I see. So this is the way by which the king escapes. So that's what I need to seal off. So I've tried virtually every first move, or at least I've tried every candidate move I can think of, and all of them are bad, which suggests that I'm bad at identifying candidate moves. Um... It is taking quite a bit of restraint on my part to not do the thing I just watched somebody else do for several hours, where you just impulsively play a move because you feel like it. Especially because that's one thing that I've, I've done so many times in the past. And it's something I've done repeatedly with chess, and progressively over time... I've just become more and more upset with my chess play, so maybe I should not repeat that same mistake as I do Shogi. So let's figure this out. If 
have gold, one, three. Uh, I guess, what are the possible moves there? There's king takes token. There's, um, oh, king takes gold. I guess those are the only two candidates. If the king takes the gold, then the bishop promotes mate. King takes the token, the same thing happens. So, this is not the most obvious combination. Um, but it helps that these bishops cover all these squares to the left here. So, I should have been looking to this side of the board because these bishops already cover all those squares and this bishop's defended. Like, if you could have put a knight here instead of a token, and the same thing would apply, but it would look less cool if the king takes the token, and yeah, whatever. Okay, cool. So that's one I failed. The uh, next one I failed was this one. Where, okay, I saw the timer ticking down, and I just guessed a move, because I had no idea. I still have no idea. It's like, if the bishop moves and the king takes the bishop, like, there's no way I can mate. Um, so I picked gold to 3-5. Um, expecting what? <laughs> what was I even expecting as a response there? Oh, I guess I could have expected king takes pawn. <sighs> I was actually expecting king takes gold, which is illegal. Yeah, this is not going well. I should wrap up after I solve these couple. Hmm, so... I mean, this bishop could move with a discovered check. The king would move either to this square or to this square. Then the gold could move with a discovered check, and something would block it. If gold to the one five, king takes two six, and there's well, this horse, this bishop could move, but there's no immediate mate. And for a mate in three, we'd need something on the next move. Oh, wait, why, why this gold move? Like, there's four places this gold could move to. I picked the one that's double check, and this is wrong, and we verified that already. I still can't believe it, but evidently allowing the pawn to be taken, followed by this bishop discovery, is just no good for some reason. Oh, I guess because the king takes the gold. Whereas if the gold covers this square, then this is mate. Even though, like, theoretically pieces could get dropped between the rook and the king, um, this is still considered mate on the move. This is There's no longer sequence here. So yeah, this gold has to pick the correct square out of four to move to for the first discover check. That's a little tricky. All right, and then I failed this one. How did I fail this? I don't even remember. I randomly picked a move because I had no time. 
and no idea. It's completely random. I think it's got to be gold 2-4. If um, the Lance takes, I thought of like every other name for Lance, like Flower Car and Chariot. Another thing I'm like, no, it's not Chariot, no, it's... In Japanese it would be a flower cart, but in English we call that a lance. So yeah, if lance takes, then horse promotes back here with checkmate. But if gold drop on 2-4, uh, the king could go back this way. And is there... I don't see how that could be made. Also worth considering is gold drop to six. If gold takes, oh, there's no mate. Yeah, that's a shame. You could make a user style for this site. You could customize how the pieces look. It would take quite a bit of effort, but I imagine it's doable. Um, no, you kind of have to become fluent in both. Like most materials you find on Shogi are going to use a piece set like this. So... Oh, I wonder. Instead of gold drop here, what about just moving the gold there? And if king takes... Oh, then there's nothing. Okay, yeah. That's not so great. Um, if Lance takes, there's a mate in one. But if King takes, I don't see a mate. Wait, is this as crude as I... No. I was looking at a uh, horse here. 3-6. King 1-6. And then I thought gold 2-7 is checkmate, but it's not because that's... Uh, the lance is covering it. Um, but let's try something different. Like gold drop 1-6. Gold takes horse to 3-6 mate. All right, that's variation A. Variation B is king takes, and there's nothing. That's a problem. Do I have gold takes 1-5? Does that lead anywhere? Not mate in 3, obviously. Wait, this came at a point where I had solved 4 problems correctly. So this should not be anything longer than a mate in 3. Um. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Candidate moves. Horse 3-4, horse 3-5, horse 3-6. Gold 2-4, gold uh, either moving from 1-4 to 2-4 or dropping on 2-4 directly. Gold takes 1-5. Gold 3-6, gold 2-6, gold 1-6. I think I've looked at all of these. These are every check in the position. One of them has to be correct.
Did I not pick gold drop at 2-4? Gold drop at 2-4 I think fails because king 1-6. And there's no check to follow up here. I want this chariot to move there. It's not happening. Um, if gold drop... I didn't list this one. Gold drop at 3-5 is a candidate move. Is it any good? Well, king takes 1-4 and there's nothing I can do. So, that doesn't look like a good candidate. This is this as easy as bishop 7-4, king 9-4, gold takes King takes. So you're suggesting we move the horse up into the right here. If I understand. Wait, maybe you're notating from the lower left. So yeah, horse here, check. King over. Gold takes, king takes. I think this is supposed to be mate in three. Yeah, the, the solver doesn't like this move. Um, so, like, if king to one six, I'm not even sure that exchanging the golds there actually checkmates. Oh wait, maybe it does. So wait. King 1 6, gold takes king 1 7. Yeah, no, the king escapes. The king doesn't have to recapture on 1 5. How about just moving? No, no, I have to use my gold somehow. It's not that. I've resorted to guessing random moves because I'm that frustrated. Uh, if the horse moves, the king escapes this way. So I can't do that. No, my knight covers the square. I'm being crazy. So this is not the correct move. How about this one? No. Um, how about this one? No. Honestly, I am very frustrated, so, like, and none of it has to do anything with this site. Like, this is a great site. Puzzles are great. Everything's great. Um, I don't understand why the king takes there. Because that walks straight into a checkmate. Like, alternatives. Oh. So if the king goes there, gold drop. If the king goes here, gold drop. I've never seen this pattern before. Okay, we worked our way through it. So, as I said about 20 minutes ago, um, apparently I am not reading very well at all right now. Um, so, I should wrap things up here and just hope that next time things go better. But yeah, it was fun at least getting the word out there that like we're gonna try to get on the leaderboard at some point. There is a leaderboard. We got Pro, Mild, 8Q, a literal DSTN, Never 14 Baby Rage, Guest, Lord Galida, Nibi, Schwartz, Time Zombie, Hatayuki, Hirohigo, Jean or Jean, Captain Hellchip, and C Triple A. They have the leaderboard, and uh, I'm not so concerned about that particular leaderboard. But there is one thing that I've noted recently that is of some concern. So just out of idle curiosity, I decided to take a look and see what pairings are going to be like this weekend. So here's uh, Shogi Ladder Week 6. 
run by this uh, wonderful person. And check that out. Guess who got the number two seed this time? This is going to be a great learning experience. Uh, so, yeah. It would help if I could read Sume. It really would. Yeah, you're probably right. It's probably pronounced John. So, I should probably practice a bit more, but also my brain is not working right now. Um... I've probably watched too much Shogi already today, so yeah, we'll we'll eventually get our match played sometime. This uh, it'll be good. It'll be a great learning experience. I mean, that's what this ladder's for. But also, like, note, I'm playing in other tournaments. I might end up like getting my rating closer to the threshold, closer to fifteen hundred, before like this grand match starts. So if I get my rating up to very close to the threshold, it's possible that if I have an extremely good result, I immediately promote into Wandan. Um, I don't remember all the details about how that works, but I forget if I need to have exactly 1499 or I don't know. But yeah, I have to get into promotions. Uh, I don't know. You have to get my rating close to that threshold. Maybe exactly at it, I'm not sure. But either way, like, a strong result there um, would definitely indicate that I'm ready. And I'm not expecting that at all. This is going to be, uh, just looking at the rating disparity, 450 points. It's going to be a thing. It's going to be a teaching game. <laughs> um... So, yeah, uh, just got to keep practicing my sume and just play my best. That's all that we can ask for. But yeah, my brain's not working right now, so we're going to wrap it up. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.